What's going on doll fans? It is your boy Dylan and I got a, a few more updates for you. Uh, some breaking news. Uh, so let me just jump right into it from ESPN. ACC sets 11 game fall football schedule includes Notre Dame. The ACC Board of Directors voted Wednesday to proceed with an 11 game football season that begins the weekend of September 12th and with Notre Dame playing a full league schedule but only if public health guidance allows. All ACC schools in Notre Dame will play 10 conference games plus one non-conference game of their choosing and the Fighting Irish will be eligible for the ACC championship game. There will be no divisions for this season only. The non-conference game must take place in the home state of the ACC institution and all non-conference opponents must have met the medical protocol requirements as agreed upon in the ACC, etc., etc., etc. So the Fighting Irish, Notre Dame has joined in uh, to the football schedule there. On the other hand, though, you have the first uh, CBS, uh, 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 CFB excuse me, uh, player opts out from Virginia Tech, projected first round pick, uh, Caleb Farley opts out of the 2020 uh, season and re will uh, prepare for the 2021 NFL Draft. Can't seem to talk right now. Uh, but it, let's see. Virginia Tech cornerback Caleb Farley will opt out of the 2020 season amid and instead uh, or a season and instead train for the 2021 NFL Draft, according to ESPN's Adam Schefter. Uh, though the competitor in me badly wants to play this season, I cannot ignore what's going on in my heart and I must make the decision that brings me the most peace, Farley said. The redshirt junior also noted his mother died of an illness in 2018 and he cannot afford to lose another parent or loved one, etc., etc. Uh, just tells a little bit about his history and stuff, whatever. Um, uh, let's see. He joins in Illinois running back Rayvon Bonner, Bonner among the first college football players to choose not to play this year. Over two dozen NFL players have already opted out for both voluntary reasons or being at high risk of contact, contracting COVID-19. Um, and in fact, there is somebody else from the NFL that just um, decided to opt out. And that player is another high-profile player, uh, this time coming from the Chiefs, uh, another player from the Chiefs, and that is actually a player that we uh, as Dolphins fans are familiar with. Uh, Chiefs' Damian Williams opts out of 2020 NFL season, joining fellow offensive starter Laurent Duvarney Tardif. Patrick Mahomes may have a lot more money entering the 2020 season when he and the Kansas City Chiefs will look to defend their Super Bowl title, but the MVP quarterback will be without at least two fellow offensive starters from Casey's 2019 title run. Days after right guard Laurent uh, Duverney Tardif became the first NFL player to publicly opt out of the upcoming season as, as a result of COVID-19 concerns. Running back Damian Williams has also declared he'll sit out the 2020 campaign as, a, as the Chiefs announced Wednesday. Uh, yeah, and so again, I mean, obviously that's a, a huge blow uh, to them. Uh, and to the Chiefs because he was, you know, pretty instrumental in helping them get to where they were and so on and so forth. And we know what Damian Williams is uh, as a player, and he's a very good player. And definitely, he's always been a complimentary piece for sure. But he does, you know, he, he's done great things there in KC with them. And uh, real quick, though, I did want to give you, as it stands right now, all of the current opt outs. So. This is from NFL.com, and they have them listed in three categories, voluntary opt-outs, high risk, and unspecified. Uh, but I'm pretty sure most of them are uh, in some way related to, you know, what's going on. Uh, let's see. From the Ravens, kick returner. Uh, it's interesting. De'Anthony Thomas, offensive line, Andre Smith. Buffalo Bills, defensive tackle star, Latulile is sitting out. Dallas Cowboys cornerback Maurice Canada, wide receiver St uh, Stephen Guidry, uh, I think that's how you say it. Green Bay Packers wide receiver Devin Funches is sitting out. Houston Texans defensive tackle Eddie Vanderdoes. Kansas City Chiefs offensive lineman Lauren du uh, Laurent Duverney Tardif, and now as we know Damian Williams. New England Patriots linebacker Dante Hightower, uh, fullback Dan Vitale, running back Brandon Bolden. An offensive lineman, Najin Turan. 
Uh, Patrick Chung is obviously there as well. Or, or, I think that might be. Uh, yeah, he's a, he's in a different part of the list. Never mind. Anyway, Seattle Seahawks offensive line Chance Warmack and Tennessee Titans offensive line Anthony McKinney. High risk opt outs Minnesota Vikings defensive tackle Michael Pierce, New England Patriots offensive line Marcus Cannon, and Washington football team defensive end Caleb Brantley. Unspecified opt outs. Uh, Carolina Panthers linebacker Jordan Mack, Chicago Bears defensive tackle Eddie Goldman, Cleveland Browns guard Drew Forbes and tackle Drake Dorbeck, Denver Broncos defensive tackle Kyle Pecco, Kansas City Chiefs running back with Damian Williams, as we mentioned, New England Patriots safety Patrick Chung, New Orleans Saints ta uh, tight end Jason Vanderland and tight end Cole Wick. New York Giants offensive line Nate Solder, New York Jets offensive line Leo Kaloa Matangi. I apologize if I fucked that up. Philadelphia Eagles wide receiver Marquise Goodwin. So that's quite a lot of guys already. And uh, we'll have to see how many more decide to opt out. I think they have a few more days because I think August 1st is the deadline, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but yeah, so um, it is what it is. I just saw a, a headline too that the NFL PA has accepted all 32 NFL teams. Uh, you know, response plans or whatever. It's honestly not surprising because the NFLPA board and the executives for sure want to make sure that the season pushes on. And apparently enough of the players feel like it's, it's you know, good enough to do so. Uh, I mean, the early signs are not very encouraging. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's what I got for you. A little bit more breaking news. I hope you guys enjoy my perspective. If you do, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the bell if you want to get the alerts. Share my channel and videos with your friends and family. Leave your questions, comments, and concerns down in the comment section. And of course, as always, make sure you follow me on Twitter at Dylan Tartaro. And with that, I am out. I'll see you all soon. Fins up.